running and the world is so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes out now with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some things. Better hurry up, just got some things. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, there's no doubt. Folks, the ball, not a fun piece of life. like when you're in a hurry to go somewhere, but you can't because Carver Tish and Laura, you know, aren't? <laughs> get, get off! Where have you been? Explain. It's Tish. She... She got... a bee! Tish got to fracas? The brain got a bee? In school? Unacceptable! Impossible! That's not compute! I know. It's like there's a rift in the space-time continuum. Yeah! What does that mean? I don't know, but they say it all the time on the sci-fi shows, and it can't be good. I'm only going to say this once. <clears throat> it is true that on the Write Your Own Magna Carta test, I received a B. <gasps> Suffice it to say that I erred when I wrote that the Battle of Bovine was a war between the French army and a herd of cows. Yes, I am mad at myself, but I will not let it ruin my weekend. Any questions? So they weren't fighting cows? <sighs> Come on, let's hit the beach. Tish, wait, wait! Mr. Hassenfeld, I told you, I'm breathing normally. My ears aren't ringing, and I haven't eaten any unidentified flora. I just didn't study enough. But a bee? Is my chalk too squeaky? Do I talk too fast? Whatever I've done wrong, I'll change it. I think I'm allergic to your tie, if that's any help. Bye, Mr. Hassenfeld. The brain got a bee. Well, this sure is a kick in the pants. What are you guys staring at? Do I have a cheese mustache or something? No. Well, yeah, but that's not it. How could you get a bee? I'm so upset I can't eat. But you are eating. It's a figure of speech. What's wrong, Tish? Is your blood sugar down? Or your blood salt? It's not a big deal. You guys get bees all the time. Yeah, but we don't sing deflator mouse in the shower. In German. But so what? It's very simple. You see, for society to function normally, every person must have a single dominant personality trait. Exactly. Um, where did you come up with that, Lore? Run off that guy's t-shirt. For society to... Oh, I put anything on a shirt nowadays. I still don't get it. Let me break it down for you. You gotta be something so people know how to think about you. Like, Laura's the jock, Tino's the neurotic, I'm Captain Supercool, and you're the brain. Except you can't be the brain anymore because you gotta be. I thought you were Sergeant Super Smooth. I changed. So because I got one B on one test, suddenly I have no identity? The brain gotta be! The brain gotta be! The brain gotta be! The brain gotta be! Does my sweet bee knit a cookie? No, I do not need a cookie. Why do people want to make you into just one thing? Like the brain. Is make it easier for people to keep from too much thinking. Is how people know you. Like Catherine the Great or Ivan the Terrible or Moshe the Mediocre. Who is that? Your Uncle Moshe. He was not such very good plumber. Once your puppy was the brain, just like you. Then he grow beard and now he is beardy man. I am Berstuki. Berstuki? Is meaning she who loves soup. So, you don't care if people only think of you as beardy? Care? What care? He's not changed who I am. <sighs> I guess I could just start eating lots of soup. <laughs> For thy laggardly efforts, do I de-bequeath thee of thy spontaneity and brain -aticiousness. Can I have this? It'd make a neat toy for my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Only a dream. <laughs> Here, chicky, 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 chicky. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can't be the brain, then what am I? I'm, I'm nothing. <laughs> As you know, Tish has received a B. Therefore, the brain is dead. You, our expert panel, are here to choose a new identity for Tish. And now, Tish number one, that girl with the big glasses. Me, 
Mysteriosa. The Sophisticate. Yeah, this one Carver came up with. 100% glitter. Twirl, twirl. <laughs> and finally, the exotic fauna. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have our tish. Yeah. <laughs> to spend the rest of my life dressed like a Bavarian Christmas elf. Hello, I am the exotic throwing male. This will never work. Tishy, your mash is getting mashy. Coming. Oh, Tishy, you look beautiful, like super metal. Soup or metal? Super metal, yes. <sighs> But you are hating dress from old country. It's no biggie. Everyone decided that from now on I should be the exotic foreigner. You know, since the brain thing didn't work out. Puppy, our little sweet bean is so sad. Yes, Petra Tishkovna, I think it's time to tell you a little story. When you are only three days alive, we take you for tests. Is official way to picking name for baby. Oof, da! Tess showed that of all babies in entire country, you are the dumbest! They tell us to name you Goosh. Goosh is name which means she who must remove shoes to count past ten. But when we took you home, we found you were so many things. You had great lovings of music. You were very good at sculpture. And the tricks you could doing, such impressive. We realize name they tell us to give you is wrong. So we change your name to Petra Tishkovna. So you didn't want to label me dumb or smart because I'm not just one thing, right? Is what we say. So, um, what does Petra Tishkovna mean? Girl with one nose. How accurate. Man, how fast can I finish a test with this bad boy? Just pick a prize already. Dude, you gotta get this one. It's not just an alien, it's King Alien. Ooh. <clears throat> I don't believe it. What do you think? What happened to the exotic foreigner? I decided I'm gonna be something that's all the different things I am rolled into one. I'm gonna be fish. Is that legal? If the police show up, we don't know. Let me get this straight. You're gonna be yourself? That never works. I tried being myself once, and I wound up accidentally being Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Lore, you might be the jock, but you're not just a jock. You're also loyal, trustworthy, and fun. And Carver, you're not just cool. In fact, you're not even cool, but you all are friendly and enthusiastic and charming. You left out smooth, but I get the idea. And you know, you're not just neurotic. Right. I'm also nervous, worried, and mildly paranoid. Yeah, exactly. So let's forget the labels and just be ourselves, okay? Okay, sure. Sounds good. Well, maybe I am still the brain, even if I did get a B. But I am also cultured, beautiful, shrewd, loquacious, fleet of foot, big of head. Yes, and that too. <laughs> Later days. <laughs> Today is my first day. I used to be a bouncer at soup and such. <laughs> okay, don't panic. Everything's fine. Mostly. 
Uh, Laura took a spill playing basketball and, well, I'm not a doctor, as you may know, but I'm pretty sure she fractured her gluteus maximus. Her patella, Timo. It's her kneecap. You just said she fractured her butt. I stand by my diagnosis. Point is, she's A-OK, -okay, but we gotta go to the hospital. Laura's parents are gonna meet us there, and the paramedics said we could ride with Laura so she wouldn't freak. Hey, can you make the siren sound like a French police car? You know, like, wee-wah, 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 wee-wah. Sheriff, how about not bothering the guys who are trying to save Laura's life? Oh, sure. Like the suit bouncer really knows what he's doing. Hard rock! <laughs> All right. You feeling okay? Just great. Except my knee is throbbing like there's a wrestling match going on inside it. Here's your lemonade. Shaken, not stirred. You haven't had this much attention since you fell into the clam dip at Uncle Hamish's memorial service. It was a memorable memorial moment. Well, sport, if there's anything you need, just holler. So, Sunday, arthroscopic surgery on the left patella. Sounds like fun. Hey, I'm just saying it's a minor procedure. Minor? They're gonna drill a hole in my knee. This is basically a, a death sentence. I heard a holler. More pillows? She's fine, Mr. McQuarrie. Just a little irrational. It's common. Don't worry. My sister had the same operation after she fell off her platform shoes. She was walking around in like two days. You're just saying that, so I won't think this is a death sentence. I give. Your turn. Lore, you're making a big deal out of nothing. They just shove this camera up your leg to check things out, and then they use a laser to fuse whatever needs fusing. Fusing? I'm a human being, not a car going in for a fender job! Look at it this way. On Sunday, you'll be safer than the rest of us, because if there's an alien invasion, you got a laser handy. What if they accidentally fuse my, my kneecap to my ear? It's a death sentence! Okay, care to feel this one, Tish? Nothing's going to go wrong, Lore. These doctors can do this operation blindfolded. Blindfolded? <laughs> Blindfold. Laser. Now spin me around three times and point me in the right direction. What about Lady? I'm here for you, kiddo. Regular or goose down? He means well. Any idea why Laura called this emergency meeting? This is just my male intuition, but I think her dad got transferred to a job in Peru. Life makes sense until you talk to Carver, doesn't it? My room, and I need to be carried or we'll be here all day. Here's the deal. Since I don't expect to live through this surgery, I've written a will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Isn't that a tad melodramatic? It's more than a tad. Try five tads and 16 smidgens. I don't want to undervalue your feelings, but you are totally overreacting. You're going to be fine. Don't you guys watch the world's funniest medical blunders? I did once. This poor guy accidentally swallowed his dentures. When they x-rayed his torso, his kidneys were smiling back at him. <clears throat> I, Lord Macquarie, being of sound mind and body, except for my need, do hereby blah, blah, blah. Anyway, to my dad, I leave my collection of bad fake athlete autographs. Uh, Michael Jordaz? To my brothers, I leave my life savings, which can be found in the pickle jar on my dresser. All that's in here is a half a pickle. In a note saying you owe your brothers eight dollars. To Carver, I leave my skateboard and those green shoes of mine he borrowed but never gave back. Score! I mean, I'll cherish them forever. If I can find them. To Tino, I leave all my comic books and my teddy bear that he likes to cuddle so much. Thanks! I mean, I do not. And finally, at a time like this, how could I think of material possession? Everything else I leave to helpers helping the helpless. Sincerely, Lord McQuarrie. O-O-O-X-X-X. That means hugs and kisses. Well... How nice. And fair. Oh my, I have just remembered that I promised my mother I would paint the lawn. You should all go. I feel weak. Laura. Go now. I beg you. All right. Come on, Carf. Laura, you ate the pickle? That thing's been in my family for like 50 years. What? Hey, Tish, what are you doing out here all alone? This is what people do when they have been betrayed. They stare at salt water. What are you talking about? Laura turned on me. Not even an honorable mention in her will. I got zero. Zip. Not a squat. Hey, she's probably just a little fuzzy from the painkillers. <laughs> I only gave her acetaminophen. And the label doesn't say, warning may cause stomach ache and friend betraying. Did you read the fine print? She probably had a good reason. Why didn't you just ask her? No. What possible reason could there be? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an ocean to stare at. But... Mm -hmm. This is why I'm not leaving the world. I'm taking everything with me. 
You need a two-story casket with a satellite dish. Any reminder of lore what's your face will be expunged forever. Ah, the ultimate emotion speed dial removal. Tishy is sprinkling me time. Sprinkling me? Oh, spring cleaning is, is what, what I you say. say. Right. I'm just destroying all evidence of a traitorous former friend. Tray tortoise is some kind of turtle? I look it up in what do you call big book with long words and no story? The dictionary, Mama. What are you doing home anyway? Lore is going to hose petal. Hospital. If you are her friendship, you should be with her, yes? To tell her how you feel. But, Mama, I can Yeah. Tell her how I feel, all right. This is for you. It's supposed to cheer you up. Oh, that was cheery, huh? You doing okay? I don't know. I'm pretty scared. You're gonna be fine. Really? Oh, yeah, it's totally safe. Where's your mom and dad? They just left to check on my brothers. They started a tapioca fight in the cafeteria and got banned from the hospital. That's understandable. It's a dangerous planet. So, where's Tish? She got stuck in the toilet, lost in a flood, German measles, dog ate her car, joined the Dixie Chips and moved to Nashville. Guys, next time could you agree on a lie before you come in? Okay there, kid. Nurse Lou's here to take you into the surgery. I'll give that more a piece of my mind. <laughs> no, no, I can't do this. I'm afraid I won't come out of that room alive. Come on, Laura. You're being ridiculous. Look, kid, I gotta wheel you in. No, I'm not going. Tish, you came. Laura, I know you're scared, but you have to go in. You know we all care about you, right? Well, yeah. And you know we wouldn't be telling you the surgery was safe if it weren't, right? I guess. Come on, you want to get your knee fixed, don't you? If you don't, you'll have to give up sports. Give up sports? Wheel me in. Great. I'll be here waiting for you when you get out. Even if you don't like me anymore. Hold it! Don't like you? Well, yeah. You totally didn't leave me anything in your will. <laughs> well, duh. You wouldn't want any of my stuff. I looked through everything I own, and nothing was classy enough for you. The closest was a sculpture of Wade Boggs I made out of chewing gum, but I couldn't pry it off the bottom of the kitchen table, so... Mm. Oh, how could you ever think I didn't like you? Laura, I am so sorry. Hey, forget it. Okay, time for me to get a camera shoved up my leg. Nurse Lou? I'm feeling a little queasy. You think it's sympathy pains? I think it's that antique pickle you ate looking for a way out. Blah. Mm. Ta-da! Great! Cool chair. The doctor says I'll be back on my leg and doing the bunny hop in no time. The what? I'm not sure, but my male intuition tells me it's either a dance or some kind of soup. Some kind of... Pickle soup? Blah. Okay, quit bringing that pickle up before I bring it up. Hey, turns out this surgery was a piece of cake. On the pain scale, I'd put it like three notches below math homework. Later days! 